Come on, baby. Come on, Turbo. Good boy, Turbo. Come on. Come on. All right. Yeah. Come on. Come on into Turbo Town. Oh, I didn't unlock it all the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. He was just off in the grass doing his thing. He is very full of energy this morning. Is my mic on? Good boy, Turbo. <laughs> Loving life. He's reached the perfect height to run past me and bite my kneecap. That's been fun. That just started this morning. Not enjoying it so much, Turbo. Don't really appreciate it. What's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Going with the flow here. Early Sunday morning. Got a whole week to do some vlogging. It's nice. You know, last week did the thing where it was just one day, and I don't, I don't like doing that. I'm pretty sure, not positive, but pretty sure that the robins finally fledged this nest that's up here, which would mean, yeah, you'd be able to see them if they were up there. They were getting pretty big. It's been a couple days since I noticed anything, but I wanted to wait to come over here because I don't want to scare them out and then have the little birds hopping over the place. That means that I can go ahead and take this thing down. I would say that like that's going to be a simple task. It is not. Probably going to be something I work on throughout the week. You'd ever have those projects where you're really excited about them, but you also like, I, I don't want to. <laughs> One of those tasks. All of things have to be organized. I'm going to be moving most of what's behind the tiki bar to my garage and anything that goes to the garage, I have to clear space for it and make room for it. So I'm like gonna be removing things from here and reorganizing over there at the same time. I don't really think I'm going to vlog that much of it, if any of it actually, because that just doesn't sound like fun. But I wanna make sure that we can see this disastrous mess that is the tiki bar and the drip supplies, because the drip supplies used to be behind the tiki bar, but the tiki bar's fallen apart, so now it's here. I have a cabinet to go behind there and it's not not gonna be one of those just like, boom, this looks beautiful sort of situations. That's not always reality, right? Because I have a whole bunch of plumbing and stuff over here that I'm going to have to reroute like back under my house and over there to get that out of the way. It's been right there for a couple years because it was just like, well, it doesn't matter. You couldn't see it because it was blocked off and it was just more convenient, but like that's a big project. I'm not doing that right now. I don't want to. This is a big enough project as it is and we only have little bursts to work in because somebody's taking up all my time these days what are you eating what is that turbo turbo what is that okay it's just a stick it's just a stick i thought he was eating a worm it's okay i'm gonna start working on it here in a few minutes it's nice out may as well get some of that done i have some palm fronds here because i did some pruning up here on the windmill palm it is a heavy prune sometimes when you get the clippers in your hand you, you just keep going and then you like all of a sudden you're like oh I think I did too much I don't really think I did too much this time I only prune the windmill palms maybe once a year sometimes every other year they hold on to their leaves for a really long time this one in particular it just had lots of torn and frayed and tattered leaves and I thought it would look better to get those off of there even though it doesn't have as much growth up there now because the fronds were coming all the way down to about here on that trunk. Like I said, they'll hold on to them for a long time, but because they'll hold on to them for a long time, they go through a lot. Every storm we have and all those things, over time they get torn up and start to look somewhat ratty. So I figured I would like to give it a prune now as opposed to waiting until next year. <sighs> Sorry, bug flew into my mouth. As I was saying, I want to, I wanted to make sure to get all that stuff off there so it has time to reflush out and start to look nice again before the winter months get here as opposed to waiting until next year. Yeah, you get it. It doesn't look as nice as it did before, but in a couple weeks it'll look totally fine. It's fine, everything's fine. Go fix that problem. If you were a little bit older, I'd go ahead and let him play with the palm fronds, but no, and by a little, no, not a little bit older. If you were like two or three years old and 100% knew that it wasn't okay to chew on plants, then I would allow that because there's no, there's no chemicals on there. It's not toxic. It's fine for them. It's not the case with all palms. That's neither here nor there. Okay, I'm gonna maybe do something with this. I don't know, it's a beautiful day and my brain's all over the place as to what I feel like doing. That's what I should be doing. I just, eh, we'll see. Well, that's about as much as I could get done in one day. Intermittent working with the doggy. Got all the tables and old furniture out of here. It was all rusting and falling apart. 
I was hoping I could salvage some of it, but no go there. As I picked them up, they were just like crumbling in my hands. Still have some stuff to do over there. The back of the tiki bar is mostly cleaned out. Still a lot of pottery back there and crates and baskets that I need to get out and uh, find something to do with. I have things in crates over here so I can organize them as to where they go and whether I keep them out here, they go to the garage, you know, all that fun stuff. It is nice to see it again. It's been buried by my supplies for such a long time. I'm not going to get rid of this. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm going to keep as many of the pieces as I can and try and refurbish it in some way at some point. If lumber weren't so expensive, I'd just build a new two by four, two by four frame inside of this to reinforce it and then just put a different top on it. So maybe I'll hold on to the pieces, except for the top, because that's falling apart, and so are the shelves on the inside. Perhaps at some point I'll rebuild the structure, because this is just a frame. Like this whole thing folds up basically flat. It's going to be a beast to take apart though. These nuts and bolts have been in this thing for years. So I would imagine they're going to put up a fight <laughs> getting out. I might have to cut some of them, uh, but I, I don't know. I could be wrong. For all I know, the entire thing might come apart. No problem. Seems unlikely, but maybe. I don't know. We will find out. I'm calling it a night with this project. I <laughs> feel very accomplished. And then tomorrow, I'll figure out what to do with the dinosaurs. Normal adult problems. And then can start taking this thing apart and then doing lots of scrubbing and cleaning. I'm looking forward to that part, all the scrubbing and cleaning. Turbo, Turbo, come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go inside. He's been very good, haven't you, Turbo? It's time for bed. I know it doesn't look dark, but it is. It's actually pretty dark outside. There we go. That's a good boy. So go inside. You're going to do it. You're going to wait for your treats. Man, he learned so fast the rules and routines of this house. You have to sit you gotta sit if you want your treat. There we go, good boy. All right, Turbo. Go outside, come back in, <laughs> sit by the trash can, get a cookie. Um, what you doing up there? That's not a safe place for you. You're not supposed to be over there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Been very rowdy today. New spotlight. This is exciting. Been waiting a while. The one that was supposed to come last week, just it just never showed up. Amazon sent an email and they were like, I don't know. And they refunded it. So I got a new one and set it up. This one just about ripped the camera up right out of my hand. He's very bouncy these days. It bounces all over the place. Hey, Toby. Okay, here it is. Very bright. This is a Sansai, Sansi, Sansai, 100 watt outdoor RGB LED spotlight. I have it plugged in in here, mostly just because I wanted to get an idea of the heat distribution. It's been about 10 minutes since the last clip you saw. And this is very cool. It's cool to the touch. I'll go ahead and get this set up outside so I have a better look at it and grab the remote control. Oh, that is very nice, very bright. Can't say much else about it because, you know, just got it. You like that turbo? You like that baby? That's a fun light, isn't it? Don't look at it. Do not put your face in that light. It's very bright. What I'm really curious about is the remote. Probably won't focus because it's very dark out here and there's something brighter in the background. But usually these lights, the remote controls on them don't work from very far away. Let's just see if I can change the color, do anything from this far. Nope, cannot. How close do I need to be? All right, apparently about 10 feet away. What's the point of that? I don't understand. It has some quick settings. You just want to pick standard colors and switch around. I like the fade. So if the fade setting, it'll go through and slowly move through the different modes. This is extremely bright. We'll see how long it lasts. I think it's probably going to have some longevity to it because it doesn't heat up very much. Like it's completely passed through. You saw how it's just a lot of screening basically that it's held into. So that's a good sign, but who knows? We will see. Look at that, it casts the light all the way over to the bananas and somewhat to the Alexander palms. That's nice. I like it. I love colorful lights. So bright, so vibrant, so pretty. It's nice to be able to have this corner lit up again. Although I did finally get this light 
fix down here so that end does light up again. That light's been broken for a really long time. But this has colors. Look at all the fun colors, see? Oh yeah, it doesn't work from this far away. So that's the only thing I'd changed so far. It would be nice if it was app controlled because then it would work from further away, but this is fine too. I'm not gonna be changing the settings on it very often. And I don't believe this has a built-in timer, which is unfortunate. It would be nice if it had a built-in timer of some sort, you know, so it'll go on and off on its own, but that's all right. I'll put a timer on it. That's not a big deal at all. It is very bright. Look at that. It's even got the maple tree lighting up next to it. Oh, so much color. Down inside, as soon as I'm seeing how much I enjoy the brightness and the color from it, I immediately just want to be like, okay, I need to order 10 more. I'm not going to do that. It is tempting though, because how pretty would that be to have another one right here and another one right there? I could get them in different wattages. That one's 100 watts. That's a bit extreme, or it's a 100 watt equivalent. It might actually be 100 watts, I don't know, but with LEDs, usually I just assume they mean equivalent. I don't know, but to have them over here, I do have some other spotlights over here, but notice how none of them are on. Yeah, I need to work on that too and get those going. Don't know why they turned off. They're app controlled. I think I just need to update the app that's on them, but they're nowhere near as bright as this one. That's nice. Oh my goodness, that's nice. Hey, Turbo. It's a beautiful night. There is a giant frog down there and lots of debris on the bottom from the storms. The little vacuum thing doesn't work and I just haven't had time. I'll sweep that up later. Do you see that black dot? That giant black dot that's, I think, nine feet down there, maybe 10 feet. That's a frog. The thing's freaking huge. A monster frog. Oh, those are pretty. Need to do another nighttime garden tour. Get some more lights going out here and see how fun it is when all the plants start glowing, shining in the light. There's a puppy in front of me. You can't see it. Would that be fun, Turbo? Oh, what's a little bit late for a swim, bud? I don't know about that. I don't know about that, baby. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, I know. I know, you just want to go swimming and live out your life. You think you're an otter. All right, come on, baby. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. We got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Good boy. Good morning. Or good half a second from the previous clip. This is what's going on right now. He has been barking relentlessly at the tortoise, and I'm just trying to let it go. Just trying to breathe through it. It gets annoying after a while, but eventually he's going to have to just calm down and accept that this rock can walk. Right? You don't understand. You just don't get it. Like, how come the rock is moving around? He'll figure it out. He's gonna get calm with it eventually. And I think he's ready for a nap too. Got the roof off the tiki bar. It was a bit challenging. There were a few screws that were busted and broken. Now it's just a matter of getting in here and taking apart the rest of everything. There are some really old rusted out bolts and screws in here. And I'm thinking I might just need to go get the saw and just cut this. I think that'd be the easiest way to do it because I don't really need these parts. There'll still be enough of them left even if I do decide to hold on to them, which I probably will. Like, here's the roof. It looks totally fine. I think I can probably do some fun stuff with that. But I'm pretty sure once these pieces right here come off, then this bar top should just pull right off the top. And then I should be able to go ahead and gut the rest of everything out of here that's fallen from the broken shelf. And, and I'm pretty sure it'll just fold right up. And then I've got a whole bunch of stuff to clean up over here. Getting a little bit better. It's not relentless barking, but still. Wait, come on, man. <sighs> there we go. And I'm trying to be quiet too, because when he hears me talk, he's like, oh, let me get in on that. And he starts, he starts barking even more. There we go. Good set. Good. You're gonna lie down? Good lie down. Okay, just lie down. Might be time for you to go inside and have your afternoon nap. How's that sound? Good thing one and thing two over here. Took a quick break. <laughs> Go inside, it is so humid out there. You guys wanna come out? You just had your dinner. Wanna go outdoors? Wanna go outdoors? Come on. He's so cute, he's always going to Toby. All right, okay, but that's enough. You don't have to chew on his face. Gotta watch the puppy because he puts absolutely everything in his mouth. Go on, go potty, go to the grass. Okay, and there they go. Oh, here's where we are where I am. Bar is gone. All pulled apart. 
salvaged a whole bunch of it. The majority of it was actually fine. It was just the uh, bar top. That part was just totally rotten through. And then uh, the like side pieces that went up to the roof, the bottoms of those were rotten. And uh, a couple of the shelves that were on the inside. None of that matters. I'm not repurposing it right now. I will in the future though. Perfectly good bamboo. No reason to throw it away. So now all you have left to do is just organize a lot of old pottery and things and get the spot cleaned up. I'm gonna work on that a little bit tonight, not too much because baseball game starts in like half an hour. Done enough, it's sticky out. Turbo has been fantastic. I don't wanna jinx anything, but so far he has been fantastic about not chewing on the plants. There they are, hanging out inside the berm, huh? All this grass right here and this is where you gotta be. Oh my gosh, it stinks over here. One of you, something in right inside you. So yeah, that's what's going on there. Luckily, it's only one piece that's gotta go. The rest of it's okay. Turbo has a nemesis and it's the seashell. He does not like that seashell. Maybe he thinks it's a tortoise. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right, okay, that's enough of that. Let's go inside, come on. So much barking. He's been having a good morning. You've been so good this morning, Turbo. Yes, you have such a good, he didn't even care. I don't think he's really grasped the term good dog quite yet. He's getting there. Sometimes he seems to get it. Spent a good chunk of the morning cleaning this area. I know it doesn't look like it, but the old tiki bar was still over here. It was just in pieces. So I went ahead and moved all the stuff that I need to keep. It's just down over there. So still, not a lot of progress is made in that regard. So I wanna get those pieces like hosed off and dried off before I put them away. Might even sand some of them and put some sort of protectant on them just to preserve them. But anyways, came in here, blew the area off as best as I could. The drip was running at the same time, so the ground was wet. So I'm letting that dry and I'll have to give it another go. So now I just need to get the cabinet put together so that I can get all this stuff organized. I'm having trouble envisioning the space with, well, all this here. I mean, it's just, it's too much. I'm looking forward to going through and organizing it though. That's going to be fun. Still have this table over here. That's a team lift thing. I, it was in front of the tiki bar and then I moved it and it started to fall apart. And then I moved it and it started to fall apart and it's wrought iron, it's very heavy. So I'm either going to get someone to help me or I'm gonna take a sledgehammer to it and just break it to pieces. Here's the cabinet. That's just, it's just a picture. I know it's hard to tell much from a picture. It's the Rubbermaid Patio Series. It's a rattan adjustable shelf. Bridgeport, that's what I was trying to find, Bridgeport. It's 46 by 24 by I think 37, and it has a shelf on the inside, and apparently a top that's flat enough and sturdy enough to set stuff on. I don't know about that. That's something I really wanted, but I don't I don't know if we'll see. It Doesn't it look in the picture like it kind of has a curvature to it? And if it has a curvature to it, I know I wouldn't be setting anything up there that's gonna fall down and potentially break. Seems like a bad idea. We will see. I just dumped this and cleaned this. He is such a filthy little animal. I let him and Toby do some roaming. I kept an eye on him, but I was doing some stuff over here and let them roam around. And he comes back and starts splashing it and within like minutes, not even minutes, seconds, that water was yellow. Same thing happens inside with his water dish. I'll dump it, clean it out, and then he takes a drink and somehow it's full of whatever is in his, I know it's in his mouth. It's pieces of sticks. He really likes chewing on sticks. Been sitting here going through the instruction novel for this thing and uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that bad. You know, standard stuff, safety glasses, gloves, screwdriver. I'm not wearing safety glasses. I know I should. I'm not going to, probably not gonna wear gloves either. Parts are all laid out as they should be. It's weird though, it goes A, B, C, D, and then it goes G, H, E. It's not an alphabet, it bothers me. Don't know why they had to lay that out in a way that's so hard to understand. And then here's what's going to happen here. My main objective is to get this done before the sun creeps much further over the top of the house. It already has, it's like right there, but it's overcast. Once the sun's out, oh, it's not gonna be fun. It is very sticky out here today. I need to grab a Phillips head to put in there and hopefully when we come back, there'll be a cabinet over there and start going through the things and putting them inside the thing and helps and get started tidying up all the spaces. I'm excited. All right, so step one, put the D in the A. You can do that. Oh, I think we're going to have a problem here. There's one type of screw, then here's another type, there's another type, more screws. So it's four different types of screws, but this only came with two. 
There's only two different types of screws in the box. I've been digging through everywhere trying to find more and that's it. So, don't really know what to do here. You have to figure this out. When I saw multiple bags of screws, I assumed that they had organized them, but apparently not. There's just all different kinds of screws in each bag. Why? Why would you do that? All right, 10 minutes later. I guess that feels okay. I was saying, had to get the screws organized. It actually wasn't that bad to do. In some way, shape, or form, these are supposed to like slide together, it sits to lift and... Oh, is that it? Well, that was easy. Hopefully the camera was able to see it. Same thing over here, just like that. Okay. Not so bad. So far, there's still a lot of screws left, which means there's still a lot of work left. Okay, and then the bottom tray is supposed to just kind of slide in and snap in place like that. All right, so far so good. Time to screw it into place. All right, now I'm supposed to start screwing these side panels together. Fairly awkward angle. You have to be able to hold it in place, but I feel like if I do the top, then that should hold it in place for me to be able to go from the front to do the bottom part. Yeah, that seemed to work okay. All right, I don't know how exciting that's been watching me put screws in different spots, but uh, the sun's starting to come out. Camera's gonna overheat if I try and film all this, so we'll just skip to this being done. That'd probably be more fun, right? There it is, the brown plastic cabinet. How exciting. Oh no, what's really exciting is getting that tiki bar out of here. I love that tiki bar. I think that it looked better over here, but it didn't serve a function because it was just rotting and falling to pieces. And it was quite frankly, just hazardous. I really can't believe that it stood as long as it did. And like I said, I did hold on to most of the pieces though. They're down there. <laughs> you have someone who's gonna help me get those kind of broken up and organized and sand them down and reseal them and everything. For the most part, I like this cabinet. It's just a great big cabinet. Not a ton to say about it. The top is fairly flat. There's a slight bump in the middle. So I don't really know about setting much on top of here. Then the other thing that I've noticed is that it gets hot, really hot in there, which I guess that's common sense, right? This wall right here just bakes in the late afternoon sun. It doesn't get a lot of sun. This spot used to just be like blazing in the afternoon, but all of the trees and everything that are over here, they've grown some more and the sun's lower in the sky this time of year, so it's not a ton, but it is enough that, whoa, I opened this thing up and it was just, it was an oven in here. So I may have to rethink some of what I keep inside of this or perhaps maybe drill some holes in the back for ventilation. I would be fine with that. It's not pretty yet, but everything, well, I can't say, I was about to say everything have a, has a place. That's not true. I've got my bonsai pots largely organized. I need to get some cardboard to layer in between all these. It's not good to have them stacked like that. So I need to get some cardboard or some heavy duty paper to put in between them. More bonsai supplies down low and up top, drip, fertilizer, things I use frequently like dog shampoo, some bits that I'm going to get the rust off of here sometime this weekend i got a product it's, i think it's called evapo rust evapo rust looks really promising and I, you just soak them and the rust comes right off them so i'm going to get those cleaned up swim mask you know clippers those sorts of things and i still have some room down here for some more pottery all the pottery has to stay on the bottom shelf because that middle shelf i don't think it's going to hold very much it's just held up by plastic pegs i don't know if you'll be able to see them you can see them in there yeah but i don't know I don't think pottery up there would be a good idea. And then here's what's left of my pottery that I need to go through and decide what I want to keep, what needs to go. Oh, well, my monkeys. Forgot about them. They're not supposed to be down there. I'm sorry, guys. That wasn't very nice. Oh my gosh, the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are terrible right now. Yeah, that looks, look at that. Isn't that classy? It doesn't matter. It's not what I'm going for right now. Now the objective here was to have a setup that makes more sense than just the big tiki bar, which is basically decorative. The other thing I've noticed that as this heated up, 
got harder to close. It has a spot down here where I could put a lock. I don't think I need to do that. I think that would be total overkill for a situation like this. Yeah, it'll do. Still got some cleanup to do. Not gonna leave all that stuff up there. Gotta get that rust off the house from the crabs and all those things. But I mean, if you guys can remember what, 20 minutes ago, whenever the video started, what this spot looked like. This is a vast improvement. I mean, the tiki bar did look nice though. I'm going to miss it, but this just makes a lot more sense. And with that tiki bar, someday in the future, I'm gonna use those pieces, hopefully to restructure it into a similar situation like this, but with doors that open on the front. That is not within my wheelhouse. I'm gonna have to find somebody who can do it for me. I don't have those types of carpentry skills. I could build a frame, no problem, but figuring out the door situation with the bamboo slats that are already there, I think it takes someone who's more seasoned and experienced. Oh, heck, it, what, took me four days just to organize all the stuff that was over here. So imagine if I was trying to build something from scratch. I don't think anybody would want to watch that. Yeah, it was a productive week. Not many plant things happened, but that's okay. Look at how colorful everything is. The ginger started blooming just a couple days ago. I'm loving this spot. Like this particular spot when I come outside with the croton and the purple and all the color and even the pumpkins. I'm liking the pumpkins, but that. They make me so happy. They're so pretty. These are the Hedichium Flaming Torch. It's the name on those. And the pumpkins, I think that there might actually be some in here that are just about ready to harvest. Potentially, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've grown pumpkins, but it sounds good. Eh, fingernails still leave in a bit of an indent. I feel like they do that no matter what. Actually, that's probably about ready to go. I'm gonna give it a few more days. That one still needs some more time. I think the big one over here, that one's probably about ready. Maybe. Can't even see what I'm doing. No, it's not ready yet. Still kind of a lighter orange. Chance they're in a week or so. Gonna be picking some pumpkins out of here. That's exciting. I love picking stuff right out of the garden. Oh, there's more ginger blooms popping up back there by the window. Oh, and a humongous flower spike shot up out of the crinum lily here. That's got to be probably four feet high. That's absolutely beautiful. The only thing I dog about the crinum lily is the flowers don't last too terribly long on them. But at least the plants look nice, at least when you can see them. You don't have elephant ears growing through them. They have that fun, long, glossy foliage and the big fan shape to them, a really nice, somewhat tranquil color to them and tropical-ish-esque, sort of. Oh, I love this spot so much. Okay, I hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day, a great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. And comment down below, say hi. I love talking to everybody. We'll be doing more things that are actually gardening related next week. This is just something I had to get done. Needed to get done. It's supposed to be disgusting outside next week. Like mid to upper 90s, very humid. I wanted to make it a point to tackle that tiki bar and all that. It was just so much mess. I knew there was gonna be a lot of dirt and spiders and cobwebs and centipedes. Centipede bit me right on the side of my foot when I was taking that tiki bar apart. That didn't feel good, stung for a few hours. That's neither here nor there. Okay, I'm gonna go, not leaving the top of this like this. These are just some things that I still haven't found a spot for and I need to put away. This is bothering me. That is bothering me a lot. Need to make a few adjustments in there figure out what's going on because there isn't anything pushing it out and it sealed up just fine earlier. I assume it's just, it's got to be the heat. That's probably what it, and okay, right. As always, and most importantly, everybody keep on growing. Bye. Bye.